Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrea, thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to be discussing a topic that I love and is so interesting to me and that is investing. Investing and learning how to manage your personal finances is such an important topic and unfortunately here in the United States we are not taught how to properly manage our finances or how to invest, which is pretty crazy when you think that we are taught things like finding the square root of things and geography but we're not taught finances so I hope that this video can help clear some of these things up for you and give you a better understanding of how to get started and to prepare yourself for being able to become an investor a quick side note for you guys I am NOT a financial advisor the information that I'm giving you is just a basic understanding and this information is basically my summary of some of the tips and pointers that I've received from other mentors over the years such as Tony Robbins, Dave Ramsey, Ray Dalio, John Bogle, and other professionals who are financial advisors. This is my advice that has worked well for me but I'm also going to include some resources from books and other people if you would like to dive deeper into the subject of finances or investing. Consider this video as a beginner's guide to investing and how you can get prepared before starting. So you might be wondering, why do I need to invest? Why is it so important? Can't I just keep my money in the bank and it's safer there? What's all the hype about investing, right? So I would say that one of the main reasons why investing is so important is because every single year due to inflation, your money is actually going down in value. So if you are not investing, your money is actually gonna be going down in value each year by an average of about 3%. So you might be thinking, well, I don't have to worry about that because my money's in a money market account. It gives me returns. I get interest on my money that sits there, but actually the interest rates are so low that it still doesn't outweigh the fact that your money is losing value. It, you still are actually losing money despite getting a small percentage of interest from your money market account. So what are our alternatives? This is where investments come in and things like the stock market and real estate really save the day here. So today we are going to focus on the stock market and I'm going to give you guys a few tips and ways that you can prepare to start investing in the stock market. I'm not going to cover everything about the stock market today. I'm going to do actually a series about investing and I'll talk more about that in the coming videos more in depth about Roth IRAs, IRAs, 401k Roths, long-term investing, short-term investing, some myths behind investing, that how much risk you want to take on. There's a lot coming in the next videos, but today we are just going to talk about getting ready and how you can prepare yourself to start becoming an investor. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing that you can do to prepare for becoming an investor is research. So that's what you're already starting to do. Congratulations. Take time to do your research and find out what options you have for investing and what fits your unique circumstances best because some of you may be employees some of you may be self-employed so there's different options for each of you guys based on your individual circumstances some great books I would highly recommend you take a look at are money master the game by Tony Robbins the intelligent investor by Benjamin Graham is a great book the Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John Bogle and the Essays of Investing by Warren Buffett are all great books where you can dive deeper into learning about finance and investing from professionals. The next point that I would say is to lower or decrease your debt as much as possible. If you can get rid of all of it, great, because there is nothing more stressful than investing your money and then not 
not being able to take it out if you need to to pay off a debt so you want to be sure that you don't have any of that stress weighing on your mind when you're investing because a lot of the times within retirement accounts you can't touch that money for at least five years without getting a penalty and you don't want to have to go through that so be sure that your debts are paid off as much as possible before you move on to the next step getting out of debt from monthly payments is also a big part of being able to put more money towards your investments so imagine if you didn't have any monthly debt payments that you had to make whether it's a car or credit cards if you didn't have to pay anything monthly imagine that money could be going towards your investments instead of towards the bank or towards the credit card company so that's another reason why it's important to lower your debt as much as possible before investing here are also a couple quick tips that you didn't ask for but I'm gonna give you about getting out of debt so number one would be to go through all of your statements and see what it is that you are spending money on and see where you can cut out any expenses the second one is a mindset so whenever you're about to buy something I want you to think is this going to help double my money or am, is money just leaving the door so whenever you're buying something it's great to think if what you're buying is an investment or if you're just spending money to spend money so definitely get rid of those extra expenses that are not helping to move you forward the next point for getting yourself as prepared as possible before investing is to have three to six months of expenses saved up why is this a good reason this is because if there was a financial crisis or you lost your job where is the first place you would turn it's either to cash in the bank or a credit card until you can find another job or whatever situation until you're able to pay off the medical bills whatever it is so instead of turning to a credit card you'll have this cash saved in the bank this also is great to have before investing because as many people probably know that sometimes investing may be risky it depends on your risk tolerance but it also helps to balance out that risk knowing that you have a chunk of cash in the bank and even if something were to happen to your other finances you would still have that money there it's just a great backup and it helps you probably to sleep better at night if you would like to learn more about getting out of debt or saving your three to six months of expenses I highly suggest checking out Dave Ramsey he really helps with encouraging people and educating people on how they can get their finances in order on budgeting on how to get out of debt quickly so be sure to check out his website all right guys on to the fourth tip this one is to invest in yourself this may sound cheesy I know but I really do believe this I believe that your monthly income is your biggest tool for growing your retirement and your investments so how can you grow your monthly income I believe that when you invest your money in yourself you can improve your skills you can add new knowledge and tools and skill sets which in turn will pay you more per month or will allow you to charge more for your services once you have been able to do your research get out of debt save three to six months of expenses and you still find that you have extra money for example a thousand dollars two thousand dollars I would suggest not investing those immediately I would actually suggest putting this towards an investment in yourself whether that means taking a course finding new books to read something like this where you can improve and grow your knowledge and skill sets increasing your monthly income is so important because it allows you to diversify that money by taking the money that is made from your business and putting it into other investments such as real estate or stocks which we will talk more about later in this step you might also consider investing in yourself investing in a business that you're growing or a business that you're currently developing or working on in the future 
future this money can go towards your business as well so that's also an investment in yourself because your business is growing and when your business grows it will in turn pay you more which you can invest all right we made it to the fun part so now we are to in the investing so what is the recommended amount that you should put towards your investment accounts each month that is about 15 percent so that might sound like a lot to you but you don't have to start with 15 percent you can start with whatever you can afford right now something is better than nothing when you're just getting started you can start with five percent of your monthly income and try each month to do a little bit more so maybe the next month you'll do six percent seven percent eight percent nine percent ten percent fifteen percent so the more you can do each month the better your future self will thank you so much for taking the time to learn about these things and put aside money now so that in the future you'll have more later all right guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for staying around and i hope that you could find some value in this video if you did please be sure to give it a like subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when i post next so if there is a topic that i didn't cover about investing today it's going to be in the next videos we're going to keep diving deeper into investing and learning a bit more about it but if there's any questions that come to your mind right now that you would like me to cover please be sure to leave a comment down below let me know so that i can be sure to cover it in my next videos all right guys thank you so much and i will see you next time bye